Welcome back to Walking in the Way. I'm Janet Green. So as you know, what we've been doing is we've been walking through the Psalms and going in order. And today we're going to do something a little bit different because it is Resurrection Weekend. It is the weekend that we celebrate Christ's resurrection. And Psalm 22 is one of the Psalms and one of the passages in the Old Testament that foreshadows Jesus's death and resurrection, the crucifixion, what happened afterwards, and then that he rose, and then what's going to happen at the very end when we're all in heaven. So I wanted to take a break from what we're doing as far as walking in the way, and I want to let the word speak for itself. The first verse we're going to take a look at is actually Psalm 22, verse 1, and it says, My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? So this is King David writing this. In Matthew and Mark, when Jesus was on the cross, in Matthew 29, verse 46, and Mark 15, verse 34, those two Gospels both record Jesus crying out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Psalm 22 Verses 7 and 8. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake their heads saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him rescue him. Let him deliver him since he delights in him. Compare that to Matthew 27 verses 39 through 43. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, he saved others, he cannot save himself. If he is the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross now, then we'll believe in him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If he wants him. Psalm 22 verse 16. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and feet. So in Luke 24, it talks about when Jesus, who had been crucified and at this point had risen from the dead, when he was with the disciples and they were scared, thinking that they saw a ghost, he said, look, look at my hands, look at my feet. Psalm 22, verse 18. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Mark 15, verse 24. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garment, casting lots, what every man should take. And finally, Psalm 22, verse 27. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. And in Revelations 15 verse 4, it says, For all the nations shall come and worship before you. In John 14 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Those who walk in the way, we believe that. That's today's message from Walking in the Way. I'm Janet Green.